ice rolling. Health, wellness, sleep. Yes, rub it in. We need sure to rub it in. I'm reading this book. Roomies have made it. Another week in Florida. Ah, oh, happy to be here. Hello, um, I'm starting another vlog today, I think. The sun is in my eyes. Um, I'm starting another vlog. What's today? Tuesday the 19th. How many weeks do I... We have like three weeks left, maybe? <gasps> oh, wow. <gasps> ah! Okay, um, that's terrifying. Holy crap, I'm gonna start working three weeks. That's insane. Um, Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name's Jillian. I keep seeing angel numbers everywhere. Every time I look at the clock, 12, 12. Every time, 11, 11, 1, 11, 10, 10. What is going on? I keep seeing things in doubles too. Like when I was working, I kept seeing like when I was working weekends, I every receipt or check I got, it was, gonna, it was like 72, 72, 38, 38. 24 24 it was so I remember it all happened in one day too I was so fucking freaked out by it I was like what the hell um, but anyway um, if you were new my name's Jillian I'm in Florida for it was six weeks now we are down to three weeks that is absurd I can't get over that time is flying by um, I'm here for another three weeks my boyfriend is finishing off his contract in Florida I'm from Rhode Island originally we are moving across the country and I'm gonna start working out there for six months seasonal job I work seasonally and so does my boyfriend so that might explain the six months thing I wanted to take you guys through just like a very normal week in my life like the mundane laundry I was doing laundry this morning that's why I came to mind dishes you know like very like realistic things um, because I show a lot of like the good and the fun like when I go on my girls day with Dylan We're doing that on Thursday. Um, and just like when I do more fun things when I'm in Florida, um, but Not every day is like that some days. I'm just like today. I'm just like scooting around. I'm in a t-shirt I'm going to my out-of-house office, which is Starbucks um, If you know, you know, I'm there too much, but I've been cutting back because I told you guys in my last vlog I think one of my last vlogs not my last vlog the vlog before I'm trying to save money So I haven't been like going out and spending a ton like I haven't been doing that recently Trying to like eat at home. So today when I go um, Starbucks is gonna be like my money spend of the day I probably won't go too much this week because um, I'm gonna see Dylan on Thursday you know, Tyron's working a lot this week, so I think I'm going to be home a lot. Just kind of like enjoying home. Easter weekend recap. Um, I did take some clips. Nothing crazy. We went and watched Tyron play soccer. Um, him and all his coworkers all got together and they played soccer. Because none of the people working with him are from the U.S. They're all from other countries. South Africa, Jamaica, Mexico, etc., etc. Um, so nobody is with their family for easter so everybody got together and did like a whole like soccer thing they like to do that sometimes where everybody comes together and like play soccer just like a fun like group activity you know um so that happened and then we spent the day by the pool yesterday i think i did take some clips so i'll roll that while i'm in starbucks and then we'll catch up once i'm done because you guys have seen me at starbucks like a thousand times girl supporting girl supporting Cheers. Funny. What's happening right now? Not on open beer. <laughs> we'll beat you, bro. Line, bro. Hey, don't be sexy. Be fast. Yeah, don't be sexy. Woo! <laughs> George is here. George is here. <laughs> he's always clapping. Oh, good job, not. guys. <laughs> he's always like, he's clapping. Oh, Giovanni is good with his footwork. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed.
Okay, I am home from Starbucks. My laptop died and I forgot my charger. So here I am. I made some Amazon purchases and I wanted to show you before I get back to... I'm also in the middle of laundry. Full laundry day. Darks, lights, sheets, pillowcases, anything you can think of is being washed. Today is like a getting my shit together. I'm gonna do some vacuuming later. I need to clean up a lot. Like it's just one of those days. Start the week off right, but Amazon haul, okay? So where should I start? Um, I feel like, let me just open a package. I love that. First and foremost, this book. I have been very big into goal planning my entire life, but mainly like the past few years, like I've really been getting into it. It's like a thing, everyone plans their monthly goals or yearly goals, blah, 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 blah. But every now and then, like you hear some of me like, oh, like, trying to manifest it we're gonna get deep for a second i am not a religious person and i do not consider myself spiritual either spirituality and religion i know are two different things but my personal spiritual journey i'm just not really anywhere with it i kind of like not ignore it but i just don't think about it on the subject of manifesting i have been very interested in it for a long time but it's never something that i really put into perspective until recently um people look at manifesting very differently i've learned i've been doing a lot of like youtube video searching and i've been slowly like dipping my toe into the realm of this subject and i find it very interesting this book was recommended author or this man dr joe is it dispensa i guess he like really goes into how everything aligns based on science i feel like this is going to be like a very slow read for me so anyway i'm trying to get into this more so like i said because of goal planning next thing i did get another book um this to tell you i have not been so excited for a book in i don't know how long guys this book 101 essays that will change the way you think i've seen this book everywhere all over instagram all over influencers accounts I've seen this, I've heard incredible things, not just from influencers, but I read so many reviews. Just because I like really like, I wanted to see the hype, I wanted to know what it was about. It's short essays as like on different subjects. So there's like four pages for one subject, like the psychology of a daily routine. 20 signs you're doing better than you think you are. Read this if you don't know what you're doing with your life. Signs your mental breakdown is actually an emotional breakthrough. What you find in solitude. Let yourself be happier than you think you deserve. All of these subjects are in this book. And there's obvious, I'm pretty sure 101. Yeah, 101, hence the title of the book. Uh, I'm on a very big self-care kick recently. And not the self-care in the, I'm gonna go take my bubble bath. I'm gonna go do a face mask. Like that is self-care of course, but not just that, like true deep inner work with who I am, who I wanna be, my goals in life. Doing inner work with yourself and like really trying to figure out things is so uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable, but I'm not, I'm like wanna get emotional right now. It's just, it's been a very like, it's been, it's been a year. <laughs> really trying to like put in the work um, in my life and I'm trying to broaden my horizons and learn different things new things and I just want to share so That was my little mini Amazon haul. It took me almost 20 minutes to talk about this I really hope I cut this down to like maybe five minutes <laughs> of talking. Yeah, so that's where we're at I just wanted to share Thank you for coming to chat with me. I had to get some more stuff done But I will take you through my day when it starts and I do more Trader Joe's, that doesn't smell great. And ravioli from Trader Joe's. 
easy dinner as you may have heard i mentioned our friend <laughs> terrified to come in the kitchen i talk about it every day because i'm afraid of it um but whatever it's fine we're dealing we're managing so i'm vlogging to feel better i'm stomping around i'm playing very loud youtube videos to put this thing off as much as possible this is literally what I deal with every day. I almost went out to like eat out for the sake of being afraid to be in the kitchen alone. That is so bad. So I'm gonna face my fears today. I'm going to, well, I guess I like this dishes that I have on here. And kind of just like wait for my water to boil. Then I'm gonna get back into my editing hole because that is what we have to do. This is what the very boring days look like. p.m. I am ice rolling. I'm about to take a bath. I need to put it on. Call the phone with my best friend. Um, she lives in Northern Ireland, so her and I were catching up. We haven't really talked this month because she's been so busy with school and I've been moving and it's just been crazy. Adult friendships are so like weird because I feel like sometimes you talk all the time. Sometimes you don't talk for like a month or you talk a couple times a week. Like it's very different depending on like the time period of life you're in um so i was just so happy to see her she's gonna be coming over to the u.s this year um and i'm gonna be able to see her for the first time in three years so we've had like a long distance friendship for so long so we were just catching up um and i'm about to start a bath i'm gonna read in my bath ice rolling this is the best thing i have ever purchased i got this before i moved so i will have it linked this is the best thing for you, I swear to God, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, normally I do it in the morning, especially, I don't do it every morning, but I do it on a lot of days where like, I'm so tired and need to wake up and my eyes are just puffy. It like helps with in inflammation and like de-puffing, I guess. I don't know, it just makes me feel very awake and fresh. And I don't know, I feel like it does something to my skin. Like it just, like, look how soft my skin looks after using this thing. I don't know how long you're supposed to do it for, but I just know it feels good. I love it. Um, I'm going to start a bath, though, and kind of, like, relax in the bath and kind of have myself a little, like, night to myself. That is, like, I told you guys, it's a very average week, so not every day is, like, fun and exciting. A lot of days, like, with me not working or, like, just me hanging out. is bubbled there is bubbles in my bath i am reading this book i'm starting it tonight 101 essays that will change the way you think my excitement is unmatched i can't even tell you how excited i am for this and to get in because i'm i'm ready to relax a bit <laughs> day i just brought tyron to work um i've been ice rolling <laughs> i'm gonna go to the car wash right now my car okay so i washed my car i want to say a little over a week ago doing it again my car is just like disgusting i don't know there's like so much bird shit on my car <laughs> and it's super annoying so yeah i'm just gonna start the day off with a nice washed car i've been ice rolling literally all morning i did it for like an hour yesterday it felt so good i'm obsessed with this thing spent a little time with tyron this morning kind of got like tidied up a little bit in the room and just like you know made everything feel ready for the day pretty much that's how i spent the morning um tyron is working at double today so that's really all the updates i have for right now that's all we're doing right now. I don't really know how today's gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know I have a lot of time on my hands and I need to fill it because I don't wanna like sit around. I don't like sitting around doing just like nothing, you know?
out. I'm so happy that's over. Okay. I love car washes, but the moment, like, the fucking dryer comes on, scary stress. Scary stress. I don't like it. Um, but with this car wash, you can, like, vacuum your car for however long. Like, that's not a thing back home. At least, like, not where I'm from because it's, like, a small town. But this is, like, a fully new, like, nice car wash so I can, like, vacuum my car out and do the whole thing i think i'm gonna do that my car looks so much better already oh my god i'm so happy makes me feel better because i don't love when my car is like disgusting you know i look gross i need to like fix myself but i'm gonna take some time now and like vacuum and just get some trash out and do all that kind of stuff you know <laughs> Everything is looking so much better. It's getting there. I don't know. I've had like my grill on my car. I don't, this girl's like, you're probably not interested, but the grill on my car for some reason, it like gets so many like bugs stuck to it. Anyway, I'm gonna head back home. I'm not far from home at all. I'm going to get some stuff done and we'll catch up after. I gotta figure out how my day's gonna go because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> podcast Tyrant on the run <laughs> I keep running it in because we're like doing it separately <laughs> it looks like a cave in here this room gets zero light this is literally the light like it looks like it's night okay I'm turning the light on it's still bad um, but hi, just went on a little morning walk. <gasps> Guys, let me tell you, I first and foremost loved it. I put on a podcast. I was listening to um, a Skinny Confidential podcast. It's their, let me show you, Lauren and Michael's like very, very specific, detailed, like health, wellness, sleep routine. I, so I was journaling the other day and I was like, bitching like I was complaining I'm just getting right into it in this vlog um I was just kind of like complaining and I was like oh I hate I hate I hate like I feel like this because I'm not doing this and like yesterday I was sitting there thinking like why am I like complaining when I could just do something different I've always been a very like disciplined person once I start doing something but for some reason with my routine just with moving and coming to Florida it's been all over the place and I really want to start getting into like a good health, wellness, like very like me focused morning routine because I feel like I've always said the mornings are like what start your day. Like that's like, it sets the pace, it sets the tone. Everything like follows in suit after, you know, is that the expression in suit? It follows, you know, everything else will follow. Mind, body, mental, physical, emotional. So I've been thinking about that a lot. I was journaling about it yesterday. I wasn't vlogging yesterday. So I really took the day to just like focus on what I want to do. And I woke up this morning. I started utilizing, um, where are they? They're right here. The little, um, little, little like option things that the iPhone gives you. Do not disturb personal sleep and work. And like they're the focuses. And oh my God, it was amazing. The sleep one, it woke me up at seven o'clock. My goal is to get like eight hours of sleep every night. So I went to bed around 11. So focused on my health and wellness the past like couple days. And I really want to get into a routine. So I'm vlogging this weekend. So I figured I'd share that. Um, I know a lot of people like give themselves like the weekend off because of their plans. And obviously like depending on your plans, like things fluctuate. But just with my goals and what I want to do, I don't have like a ton of plans right now in life just because like I'm in Florida, I'm going to be moving across the country. I don't really have a ton of friends. Like I don't have a lot of social things going on. Tyron works all the time. So it's a great time for me to like just really dive into focusing on 
my health and wellness um so i just wanted to share that start off this weekend vlog like it's gonna be a really chill weekend so i wanted to just kind of share this with you that's kind of like what i've been up to this morning it was so nice out went for a little walk um i think now tyron and i are gonna go to the pool he's kind of like getting ready now he's in the bathroom getting ready and um we're gonna have more of like a chill day by the pool kind of like hang out together um he's been working a lot recently and i obviously haven't been i really wanted to kind of like put an emphasis on all this because this is like what i'm doing right now so i just want to share so yeah it's a really nice day out today we're gonna go to the pool really try to like hone in on our routine like as a couple together but as well as like personal routines before we move because the moment we both start working it's it's gonna be really hectic it's gonna get really busy around here we're gonna be working a lot we're gonna be like working on things a lot so it's like time to really like focus it, it was fun not doing anything but now i'm ready like i'm like okay that time in my life is done like i am now it's time to like get shit done and that's that yeah wow really getting into it this morning <laughs> I know it's so hot out. Yeah. <laughs> the UV index is a 10. The UV index is a 10. It's hot. <laughs> Thank you. So loving of you. Yes, rub it in. What do you mean, should you rub it in? Good. Do I look like Casper? Hmm? Do I look like Casper? Not anymore. You look so shiny and glistening right now. Hmm? I'm literally sweating right now. It's so hot, Tyron. I don't even know how long we've been here. A few hours, maybe? Something like that. My hair is a mess. That's how you know we're having a good time. That's how you know I went in the pool. Hair's already drying. <laughs> roomies have made it. Oh, you've been in a fog. <laughs> oh, roomies have made it. One's over there. I can't even see. <laughs> and just here, Tyron's in the pool. <laughs> He's just having a time over there. <laughs> oh, we're having a lovely day. A nice relaxing Sunday. You're one day off a week. Get out of here with that. I hate it. It's so sad. I know, but we're enjoying it. So that's that's all the updates I have. I don't even know what time it's the time is it. Uh quarter to three. Quarter to four. Already? Wow, okay, it's almost four. We're having a lovely day. It's been so nice out here. It's a busy day at the pool though, let me just say that. So it's, it's like a party, but with children everywhere. <laughs> All right, it is 6.30. I am back from the pool. I just took a shower, but we had a little pool day. It was so fun. Our roommates ended up showing up, which is so funny. We did not plan it, but we ended up hanging out with them, reading our books. You saw Ange. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. Um, I'll link it down below. It's all about the process for like H2B and her visa experience like coming from South Africa to the US. We're actually having a little like South African night tonight. We're gonna do a bri. A bra, it's spelled B-R-A-A-I, I think. Yeah, um, it's basically like what Americans would call like a barbecue or a cookout. They're doing a bride tonight. We decided to just do that with everybody because we only have a few weeks left together and we're all probably going to be leaving at different times like to go to our separate like workplaces because everybody who is living with us is working seasonally. So we're not going to have a ton of time left with everybody. So we're going to do a little bride tonight, have like a whole South African night because most of the people that I'm living with are from South Africa, which is very fun. I just took a shower. I am definitely sunburnt from my walk this morning. You can see it. Yep, that was from this morning. I used um, sunscreen, sun bum, on my whole body at the pool today um, and it worked amazingly. Um, but this is from earlier today when I did not use sunscreen. That was my fault. I should have used sunscreen when I went out for my walk this morning. Um, but yeah, so I didn't, I didn't do that. But um, the sunscreen worked amazing even though I was in like direct, direct sunlight. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like all we're up to right now. Um, I'm gonna go out there though because I've been kind of like in my own like little hole like um, showering and all that and like kind of taking a minute to kind of decompress and they're all out there like cooking and they're, they're all chatting. I need to get out there. I feel bad. I'm like totally not helping them anything. So I'm gonna go see if they need help. See them. It should be a really fun night. I'm really happy this like 
this day turned like this because I haven't done like a real braai since I was in South Africa. Um, this isn't like everything you need for a braai, but it's definitely gives me like memories of being in South Africa with all of, like Tyron's family, and it's it's like it's very nice. So yeah, I'm in the closet right now. <laughs> And cheers. Oh, cheers, cheers honey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's done in like proper Portuguese marinade. Red wine, Portuguese spice. Red wine, Portuguese little bit spice. Of balsamic, lots of garlic, salt. Love it. Slice. Like bit of chili, it's perfect. Oh, I can't wait to have it. I'm so it's excited. It's there he is. Yes, <laughs> Mafana came to the party. <laughs> Cheers, honey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, and you outdid yourself, girly. You outdid yourself. <laughs> Very excited.